If right to work is this bad for the state, who wants it? And that's the question we have to answer, because the answer is, this bill is being pushed by out-of-state interests and out-of-state influences. And that's not right for Wisconsin. As workers, we have the right to join up, team up, and hang together for a fairer deal. It's the Wisconsin way to be able to learn, earn a fair day's wage for a fair day's work, right? It's the Wisconsin way to be able to balance life with work. It's the Wisconsin way to be union. We take great pride in the products we make and the services that we provide, and we make this state work, we make this state move, we are the state of Wisconsin, right? But there's politicians here in Madison that would rather listen to those that fund their campaign than the people that we, than the people that were sent, that sent them here to, for, for them to represent us. Brothers and sisters, the public support that's been voiced against this bill, right to work, has been unbelievable. We have real people who work hard and play by the rules, and they're being silenced. But we will continue to make our voices heard loud and clear. We will continue to educate, to organize, to mobilize this week and well into the future, right? We're going to mobilize, we're going to move, we're going to keep building this movement. And that's why we're here today, and that's why we rally. We rally so that people can see and understand and feel what unity, solidarity, and togetherness is all about. We come here to rally to get our message out about fairness for workers, about a voice in the workplace, and fairness in our communities. That's what we're doing here, right? Remember, our elected officials are supposed to work from us, for us, and they need to hear from us, right? Remind them that they work for us and not those out-of-state interests. And then we need to hear again on Thursday when the bill heads to the floor for a full vote. Let's pack the gallery. Let's pack the Capitol and let them know we're watching. That workers will remember that we are bearing witness to this attack on the middle class. And we will not forget that we will remember what's happening here at this point in history. So, we also can't forget about our governor. Because we're going to have to talk to him about not signing this bill, right? You know, he's made the news this week. Oh, really? Can you believe that twice in one week he compared us to a terrorist group called ISIS? Well, he needs a history lesson. Because what we are doing here today is the heart and soul of democracy. We are a peaceful assembly to raise our voice for workers' rights. We are an expression of our freedom for speech. We are fighting for a better Wisconsin, a better America, a Wisconsin where workers have dignity and respect and are able to feed their families and provide for their children. To like in you, all you beautiful, peaceful people of ISIS is unacceptable, it's disgusting, and it's disgraceful. So, so I think you all agree with that, and coming together peacefully to protest, to raise your voice for a better Wisconsin, this is not an act of terror, it's called being an American, right? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, the task before us is one of educating our members, face-to-face, one-on-one, member-to-member, so that we can have a strong voice in our workplaces. The path before us is reaching out, building stronger alliances within our communities, within our partners and allies, reaching out to provide a strong voice in our communities. That's what we need to do, that's what we need to do to build power in an era of money corrupting politics, in an era of money hijacking democracy. This, brothers and sisters, this is the way forward. This is the way we must travel. And there's more that unites us than divides us. United together in solidarity, forward, unity, forward, together, forward, in solidarity. One movement, one voice, one people, together, building a better Wisconsin and a better way to